All right, people, uh, today we're having a fun day. You know why? I'm having some fun, and we're going to have a free pedal giveaway. I'm so excited about doing this. It's been a long time since I've, uh, I've done this. But you know what? I'm really excited about some of my new products. And the one that we're going to be giving away, you know, may not be today. Because we're you have to answer a question. You're going to have to answer a question to win a free pedal. But just uh, let me tell you about this pedal that I'm going to be giving away. You see, this one is called the Maru's Right, the Super Maru's Right pedal. Can you see it? Let's look at the screen. Okay. Now, I really love this pedal. Okay. I love the sound of it. I love the utilitarian look of it. I kind of tried to make it look like a, uh, a vintage Fender faceplate. You know how they got those silver face plates? You know, so I kind of took that utilitarian design and I put it on here. Now, the only problem is, is sometimes uh, there gets a little air bubbles under, under the sticker. So, this one turned out a little bit rough. And so I've decided that I'm going to give it away. Okay? Now, uh, you're going to have to listen to my spiel about my other products that I have for sale. Uh, I have a question, okay? Now, I know everybody has the Google, so I can't just ask you... Uh, a random trivia question. So it has to be something to do with my personal tastes. Okay. Now the good news is is you get one question every day. Every day you get a you, you get a you get to have a guess, okay? Okay, now the last time I did this, the the question was who was my celebrity crush? Nobody ever guessed it, okay? Nobody guessed it. And it was Amanda Seyfried, okay? I've watched a lot of terrible, awful movies with that girl in it just because she looks good. She's cute. You know, Amanda Seyfried. Uh, I used to have a crush on her. I don't have a crush on her anymore, okay? You know, just making that clear. But uh, I never, you know, I never watched that Mamma Mia movie. I just couldn't watch it. I just couldn't take it. That Mamma Mia movie, it's awful. I couldn't watch it. But anyway, that was the answer to my last, last contest. Nobody ever won it. But, you know, there ain't too many people that have been watching my channel. So, if you're guessing every day, you got a real good shot, okay? But this week's question is, who is my favorite actress? Not my celebrity crush, crush but my favorite actress, okay? And I'm going to give you a couple hints. Okay, she was in some horror movies that I really like. She's a really good actress. Horror movies. Think of about what my favorite horror movies would be. Okay, I can I can think of at least two of them. You know, she's a really good actress, and she's been in all kinds of of good movies, not just horror movies, but all kinds of movies. You know, and she's a little bit older. Okay, she's not my celebrity crush. You know, but I really respect her as an actress. Okay, and uh, so you got to guess who that is. That's that's as simple as that. If you can guess who my favorite actress is, you're going to win this pedal. It's the Super Maru's Right. This is like a Mars Right, a Mars Right fuzz, but it's on steroids because it has like a boost after it. You can control how the volume of the fuzz hits the boost. So you can still get regular Mars Right sounds out of it. But, uh, you know, you can make it a lot louder. And the choke sounds on this thing are really incredible because it doesn't, you can boost up the choke sounds. You know, the, stu the sounds that kind of sound like an Octavia. Maybe I'll put a little clip in of what it sounds like. What I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, let's run that clip. So you heard what that clip sounded like. That's what the Super Maru's Right sounds like. Okay? So uh, we're, we're also going to go with... Uh, we're going to tell you about some other fabulous products that I have for sale. This is my reimagined Turbo Max design. Okay? Look at that guy. Isn't that guy just so cute? 
Okay, the Turbo Max is an op amp style distortion pedal. Op amps didn't really come onto the scene in guitar pedals in probably the early 70s. Okay, but this is the closest thing you're going to get to a modern sounding distortion from a guy like me. Okay, it uses a, an LM4558 op amp. Okay, op amp chips. Okay, it's the same op amp that's in an Ingve. Ingve's uh, pedal. You know, Ingve Malmsteen? That guy's crazy. But uh, it's not the same circuit as the Ingve. I make some of those. Those are what my uh, overdrives are. This is the Turbo Max. Okay? This guy is so cute. We got the two little LEDs for the eyes. I'm trying to keep it in focus. And uh, I had to redesign the, the uh, graphic on there. And the graphic is done by an artist named... William Wallace Denslow, okay? Now, he did he did the artwork for the original Wizard of Oz. That guy was a real character. I've been trying to find a biography of him to buy, but he ended up buying his own island. He became a drunk. He basically got all kinds of money from illustrating the Wizard of Oz. He became a drunk. Really weird story. But uh, apparently, he used to, he used to draw kind of darker stuff like this. So this is the Turbo Max, okay? It's a good sounding, like, distortion type of pedal. In fact, when I really want to go for a modern sound, I use the Turbo Max, okay? Because some fuzzes just don't sound good for, like, uh, you know, modern style playing. Okay, so this is the Turbo Max. This is one of my products. I think right now I got a couple of these for $39. $39 on Dad Tech. You go to uh, Reverb and you find Dad Tech. All right, so let's go over some more of my products. All right, now look at this little lady. This little lady over here, she, I mean, you know, trust me, she's she's a cute looking little lady. You can put her on your pedal board. You know, it's probably the only time a, a dame is in your room with you while you're playing. And unlike most dames, this, this baby don't got no screws missing in the back. Because the first couple of these I made, I think the first one I shipped out, I might have forgotten to put one of the screws back on the back of it. Because I had to copy the circuit to make sure I remembered what I did. But uh, this this is the Doom EXP. The Doom EXP is a very heavy, full-throttled sounding distortion circuit. I love using it with my A-string. Okay? And I think it would probably sound pretty good with bass. And I was thinking about moving my bass amp up here so I could do a video of it. But it's just too big for me to put in this room right now. So, this is the Doom EXP. Okay, I'm trying to get like $60 out of these. Okay, and I think I have one of them that ain't as pretty as she is for 50 right now. So, if you're interested, you just watch the video. Okay? Maybe I'll put a little clip of it up there. Okay, because I'm getting kind of out of breath. <laughs> Okay, so that brings us to this bass fuzz. I got a couple of these for $39 on uh, the Dad Tech uh, Reaver page. This thing, this thing sounds pretty good on your bass, okay? It sounds pretty good. It's just a nice basic bass fuzz. You know, the, the knob controls the volume, okay? And this, this version of it cleans up really good. If you roll back the volume on your bass, you know, the fuzz will go down a little bit, and it cleans up pretty nice. It's just a basic little bass fuzz for, for your bass players out there. I know they don't make too many bass fuzzes, you know, compared to what they do for guitar playing. But you can also use this on your guitar, too. It's actually kind of a nice, thick-sounding fuzz for your guitar. And it's pretty loud. I got demos of it. So you can, you can always watch them, okay? And so, that will bring us to... The classic fuzz. Look at how classic this fuzz looks. Okay? 
This baby is kind of psychedelic looking. She has pink knobs. Pink knobs, okay? Now, originally I ordered a bunch of these pink knobs because I was going to make a, a fuzz called the Girl Boss. You know, I was going to make a fuzz pedal that was marketed towards women because women spend more money frivolously than guys do. You know, like they're buying like $15 bottles of shampoo and stuff. You know, and so I learned it through marketing that women spend more money on stuff. So I, I was going to call this the Girl Boss, but I decided that, uh, you know, I shouldn't even be saying my marketing strategy because who knows, I might do it. In fact, next week, maybe I'll, make a, I'll turn it into the Girl Boss, make a new graphic, you know. But it's a marketing uh, research thing that women spend more money than guys do because most guys like me are cheap. We're cheap, you know. Like, uh... I have to admit, I've been buying a ten dollar bottle of shampoo, and it's because it has hair dye in it. And I, I'm so cheap ass that I use it once a week, and I don't wash my hair anymore because I don't want the hair dye to wash out. It's called just for men. It's just for men, though, you know. Uh, but this, uh, you know, this little classic fuzz. I'm selling this for thirty nine dollars. It's handmade, soldered. All my pedals are handmade, you know, soldered inside. This one actually has uh. Good quality parts. I uh, kind of upped the ante on some of the parts on this one. You know, I, ha I had the uh, the thicker shafts on the potentiometers. Reverse logarithmic 1K gain knob. Makes a difference. Makes a difference, you know. And so these are the only types of classic fuzzes that I build now. Now, the classic fuzzes aren't as loud as normal, you know, uh, modern effects pedals. Because the original Dallas Arbiter was not that loud, okay? And... Uh, I think it's good if you're using like digital effects after it because you don't you don't have to worry about clipping out any of your digital effects, but you can always put a boost after it. It's a good little fuzz. It's a true silicon recreation recreation of the uh, Dallas Arbiter. You know, this is you know pretty good. All right, so that brings us to our close. Okay, do you think you can guess who my favorite actress is? She was in some horror movies. She's a little bit older. Horror movies, she was a little bit older. She's just a really good actress, okay? So just think about who the good actresses are of our day and age, okay? She's older. So, you know, she's been in movies, you know, I think since the early 70s was probably one of her first movies. But she's she's older now. And I'm wondering if you, if you got the guts to guess it. Now, you can make one guess every day, okay? And the first person... That guesses it. Gets this pedal. Because the sticker on this one is just a little bit rough. And so I've decided I'm going to give this one away. This is a really good sounding pedal. I really like the way it sounds. I'm really quite happy with it. All right. So. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Oh, make sure you buy Dad Tech. You know, my pedals are made by cheap people like me for other cheap people. And I'm trying to insult my customers. But, you know, we're all budget conscious, you know, especially in the economy the way it is. And it's it's for, uh, let me uh, phrase it as the more fiscally, uh, let me see, uh, a good way is uh, financially sophisticated people like my stuff. You know, financially sophisticated people, you know like my stuff, you know, the people that like to save money, you know, that's what it is, all right, see ya, bye-bye.